Hey fam, how y'all doing? Your boy just got off of work and got home, but he decided to record a video for y'all, which if you don't know, well, you should know because you clicked on the video, but if you don't know, this video is what it feels like to live alone, or should I say five reasons why you should live alone. But what it doesn't say is a little extra that I'm gonna put on there for y'all is five why reasons. It may not be the best option to live alone as well. So just stay tuned and we're gonna get that information right up here for you guys. Cause you know what we like to do here? We like to give content out. All right, so I am back. Sorry, I just, just had to set it up, but I wanted to get you out a little walkthrough of the little hallway. I thought it looked a little nice. But back to what this video is about is, whew, brain freeze. Oh yeah, for one reason why you should stay by yourself. People will make your bills go up. And if you don't have a defined contract, they will not help you and you will struggle. And if you want to add on to that, if they don't have a job, you're going to be help supporting them. So psh, one reason why it's good to live on, your lo live on your own and not live with people. Second reason why, which is my favorite, being a nudist, is you get to be naked 24-7 or as much as you like. Windows and all. You can be as naked as you want. Who's gonna say something? All right, number three reason why I like to live alone. I can play music as loud as I want. I can sing as loud as I want, whenever I want, and no one can tell me anything. Cause there's no one here but me. So, got that benefit as well. So three, we're, we're up to three already. Look, offer it. Yeah, that sounds really good, right? All right, number four, you get peace of mind. Peace of mind. I go anywhere else, I'd be like, I'm ready to go back home. Oh, wait, wait a minute, y'all. I'm just gonna put the shirt back on real quick, y'all, because I don't know, this might be a little too inappropriate to be, you know, show my love to Bob, you know. Gotta, gotta go to the gym, hit the gym a little couple times a little bit more, and I think I can move it and see what I shirt. Some more. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put this shirt on like I seen in this video. So we're just gonna go ahead and do this real quick. All right, so. The fifth reason of why it is, wait, I was on the fourth reason, which is you get peace of mind. Even if you have your own room, they say you have your own room, people come in your room and they be and they intrude themselves. When you live alone, they can't intrude themselves. So the biggest thing about it is living alone is you can't treat yourself. You basically, you do everything alone. So when it comes to who got dishes in the sink, it's on no dishes in the sink unless you put them in there. You know, who who did got dishes? It's only this if you did it. So everything lands on you. So it's like, if you really independent, I kind of like it. Not to the downfalls of it, which let me get out there. It was just the only real reasons why I would say it could be hard not like to live alone. And maybe, you know, you've done it before and you know, it's not your cup of tea. Like, don't get me wrong. When I settle down, I'm not going to live alone anymore. I'm going to have a partner. And they're going to help me, you know, help me to live better, right? Because I want someone that's going to be on the same grind with me, the same type of motivation I am on, the same type of goals. Uh, You know, I need, I need me a provider as well. We're going to both people be providers. This, this house is going to flourish. But I'm overstepping. Back to the five reasons why living alone could be a little hassle, though. Number one, you're paying everything. So just, just realize that. Like, you're the only one there, so you are paying everything. And then number two, it gets lonely. Like, lonely. you spend the majority of your time at your home. You know, if, if you're not someone to keep motivated yourself, it can it can put you in a spiral of depression. I can honestly say that. Like, it's, it gets very lonely. So you have to be okay with being alone in a way. So that's another downfall. Um, the third downfall is it, like I said, you're alone. So if you make them, like, say if you cook, like you're doing all the work, you're, you're going to cook, you're going to clean it, you're going to put it up. You're doing all the work. There's no 
share work like you're doing all that work and someone like me maybe i not, might not even cook but like say if i um make something or i might buy something i might buy something and me so used to being in a big family it doesn't go it stays in my refrigerator until it expire so now that's something new i have to learn that my food expires in my refrigerator so i have to make sure i'm checking dates so i don't get sick y'all that's the biggest thing to get out of that living alone let me just break it down for you y'all don't even need these numbers these numbers are irrelevant just know when you live it alone you get peace of mind you don't got people in your ear you get the, the house will be how you left it it's everything's how you left it so you get that peace of mind but everything it's just more bills it's it's very expensive especially if you're living alone like me in a two-bedroom apartment at 21 years old but like realize where you at in your life and where you need in your in your household but i can honestly say living alone is a something i think that everyone should do in their life at least once if you, even if it's a small um what is it called the little it's not even a bedroom a a, a studio apartment a small studio apartment personally i feel like everyone should experience it even if you had to go to a dorm room or something like that but I feel like this video is getting long and I feel like I hit most of the points. If I, if you think I did not hit a point enough for you, just DM me, leave a comment below. I will get to that point. I will, I will explain whatever you need to know. Just know I've been living alone for three years now in this apartment and I love living alone. I just wish it was cheaper. But when the more the money come, it's like, okay, but I do know. When I start, when I settle down, I'm going with my partner to live with me, of course. So it comes where, where am I at in life? Right now, I'm not in the settle down right now. So living alone sounds good. I don't want, I don't want friends and people I don't know staying with me. If I have someone staying with me, it's going to be someone I'm trying to build a life with. But that's just me. But y'all stay tuned and follow this channel and hit the bell to be notified, hit the like to see me smile and hit them comments so I get some ideas. And just stay tuned to the next video. I got my camera coming with the pranks and it's gonna be lit, my fam. I'm telling y'all, now peace out because your boy gotta go.